Let's solve one previous question of parsing. This question was asked in GATE CS 2024 set 1 question number 28. Consider the following grammar with S as the start symbol. The grammar G has 3 incomplete products and denoted by 1, 2, 3. This is the grammar here 1, 2 and 3 we need to find. The set of terminals is A, B, C, D, F. The first and follow set of different non-terminal are as follow. These are the first and follow. Which one of the following option correctly fill the incomplete production? And four options are given. So your grammar is S derive D A T or 1, T derive A S B T or 2, R derive 3 or epsilon. In every option some productions are given for 1, 2 and 3. So what I will do, I will write these options production in place of 1, 2 and 3 and find first and follow. If the first and follow match with this first and follow then these are the production. Now option A, S derive D A T in place of 1 will write R F then T derive A S B T epsilon then R derive C T R epsilon we got the grammar next find the first and follow first of S equals to D and first of R first of R R C and epsilon so just check first of R R C and epsilon yes first of S will be D C and in place of R, if you are writing epsilon, we will get F. So, D, C, F. Yes, first of F is C, D, F. Then first of T are A, B and epsilon. Yes, so all first are same. Next, we will find follow. So, follow of S equals to follow of T. So, follow of S will contain dollar. Follow of T equals to first of R. What is first of R? C and epsilon. So, we can write C. And if it's epsilon, we are getting F. So, dollar C and F are follow of S also follow of T. As follow of T and follow of S are same. Next, follow of R. Follow of R equals to F. We found same first and follow by putting these productions in place of 1, 2 and 3. That's why option A is the answer. You don't need to check all other options. Just for the understanding, I'm checking option B, option C and option D. Now option B, in place of 1, put S derive F for. In place of 2, write T derive epsilon. In place of 3, write R derive C T R. 2 and 3 are same. Just 1 is different. Before it was R F, now it is F. R. So, first of S will be D and F. Here what is C, D, F. But here we are just getting D and F. Both are not same. First of S are different. So, this option B cannot be answer. Next check option C. S derive F, R. It's F, R. For F, R we already check in option B. We are getting different first. So, option C is also not the answer. Now, write this production in place of 1, 2 and 3. Now, first of S equals to D, F. But here it's C, D, F. So, first of S is not same. Then, first of T, here we got A, B, C. But here it's A, B and epsilon. So, first of S and first of T are not same. That's why option C is also not the answer. Next check option D. In place of 1, write S derive R F. In place of 2, T derive C T. In place of 3, R derive C R. First of S and follow of S are same. If we are writing R F, right? Now check first of T. First of T is A, B and C. But here first of T is A, B and epsilon. As first of T is not same, that's why option D is also not the answer. You can check all first and follow. I am not checking if I am getting one is not equal. So here first of T are not equal. So you can declare this is not the answer. So you got answer as option A. For one, we can write S derive RF. For two, we can write T derive epsilon. And for three, we can write R derive CTR. I already discussed first and follow in chapter 2 of compiler design lecture. Just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.